As a complete redesign of the classic O11 Dynamic, the O11D Evo is a combination of innovations inspired by the O11D XL, O11D Mini, O11 Air Mini, and of course, users' feedback. Starting from the outside, the mesh design at the top and rear of the case has been updated to provide wider areas for air to pass through while still offering adequate dust filtration. The new pin mounting mechanism for the side panels means they can be removed without the need to first remove the top panel, eliminating an unnecessary step when trying to access the inside of the case. Additionally, both glass panels can be locked in place to prevent them from falling out during transport. At a depth of 468mm, a width of 285mm, and a height of 446mm, the O11D EVO is slightly deeper and wider than the original O11 Dynamic, giving it better compatibility for large components. In terms of hardware compatibility, the O11D EVO can support motherboards from Mini ITX to EATX, 420mm long GPUs, up to 360 or 280 radiators at the top and side, and 360 at the bottom, as well as a 120 radiator fan at the rear. One of the main features of the O11D EVO is its ability to be reconfigured into reversed mode. With everything included, this process can be completed in only a few steps. After removing all side panels, the aluminum and I.O. module can be removed. You'll then be ready to remove the base of the case, then flip the frame upside down. Make sure to relocate all internal parts, cable management bar, drive cage, and PSU support. At this point, the base of the case can be reattached to the frame, and all side panels can be inserted back in place. Just like this, users can reconfigure the airflow pattern of their system, benefit from a full view of the computer parts even when placed on their left. To make the front panel as clean and aesthetically pleasing as possible, Lian Li created a multi-directional button that can be pressed from both the front and side of the case. Right below the power button and move to the side of the case for a cleaner front panel are the reset button and the LED control button. Also, the front I.O., which includes a USB 3.1 Type-C, two USB 3.0 Type-A, and an HD audio mic port, had been designed into a removable I.O. module. This module can be relocated from the front to the side and even rear without the use of any tools. Users also have the option to increase their I.O. count with the additional I.O. module kit, which doubles the USB port of the O11D EVO. And for users who prefer to have their case on the floor, an additional top I.O. kit is available to relocate the original I.O. into the top aluminum strip of the case. To ensure better air circulation while using a water cooling setup, an additional upright GPU kit has been introduced. This provides the user with an option to open up the main chamber and create a true chimney style configuration when doing custom water cooling or using AIOs. To make the upright GPU kit work, careful attention to radiator clearance was taken to make sure there's no interference with radiator support. Therefore, the radiator mounting bracket has been moved closer to the side glass panel. This ensures radiators as wide as 130mm and fans as wide as 120mm can still be mounted when installing triple slot GPUs in the upright GPU kit. In addition, a brace has been engineered to prevent the upright GPU from moving around. Adjustable in multiple directions, the brace can support anything from thin water blocks to thick triple slot GPUs. And to further improve cooling, the additional mesh front panel kit can be installed to replace the front glass panel and provide direct airflow for systems with CPU cooling towers or systems with air-cooled upright GPUs. In addition to the mesh front panel, brackets are included to provide mounting support for three 120mm fans or two 140mm fans. And for users looking for a more traditional vertical GPU option, an additional vertical GPU kit is available. Its design has been inspired and improved upon the original vertical kit for the O11D. The kit's mounting location has been elevated, leaving up to 50 millimeter of clearance for bottom radiators and fans, and can be raised up even further to allow up to 90 millimeter of clearance for thicker radiators and fans. And for users who prefer horizontally mounted GPUs, the O11D EVO comes equipped with the GB001 anti-sag bracket, 
which is functional in both default and reverse layout. In the main chamber of the O11D Evo, even the top and bottom mounting brackets have been well thought out. Multi-purpose in design, each bracket can support either four SSDs, two HDDs, up to a 280 or 360 radiator, and two 140 millimeter fans or three 120 millimeter fans. Both top and bottom brackets are identical, which means they are interchangeable and feature a quick sliding mechanism for speedy insulation and removal. And both brackets can be quickly secured in place with a thumb screw. Beside the motherboard, a reversible mounting bracket can support up to a 280 or 360 radiator and two 140 millimeter fans or three 120 millimeter fans. Secured in place by a toolless latch, the bracket in its original position provides support for an 84 millimeter thick radiator fan combo and in reverse up to 121 millimeter fan radiator combo. Moving to the second chamber of the O11D Evo, the space beside the motherboard can be fitted with a hard drive bracket that can take either two HDDs or four SSDs. Next to it, the cable management bar can support an additional two SSDs. And the perforated drive cage can support multiple configurations, such as two HDDs or SSDs in the trays. An additional SSD can be mounted on the side of the drive cage. This location also supports a hub mounting. And at the top of the drive cage, the user can mount either a fan hub or a 60 millimeter fan. In total, an impressive nine SSDs or six HDDs and three SSDs can be mounted in 13 different locations in the O11D Evo. The cable management of the O11D Evo has also been modified. While tie points are available behind the motherboard tray for Velcro straps, a new hook style cable management bar allows for easier cable placement by holding bulky cables under hooks and keeping cables in place while routing everything. Lastly, even the RGB strip of the O11D Evo has been revisited to improve its user friendliness. In addition to being able to control the light effects of the RGB strip via the LED control button and via the motherboard software, it also features a header that can plug into the UniHub, allowing it to be handled via L-Connect. With the O11D Evo, Lian Li hopes to simplify the PC building experience while offering a wide array of configurations that displays and cools the PC in the best fashion possible.